Hi guys, welcome to Gatematic. In the previous lecture, we have seen the concept of parallel operation of transformer and we have derived a formula of SA and SB. Okay, also we have gone through the some important concept. And at the end, I have given you the homework to solve two problems that is problem number one and problem number two. And after solving these two problems, I told you to write the answer in the comment below. Now in this lecture, we will try to so uh, solve these two homework that is the problem number one, problem number two and also we will take some more problem that has been asked in previous year gate exam. So let's get started. Now see the first problem that I have given in the previous lecture as a homework to solve this. See the first problem. Transformer A is having 10 kVA rating and Z is given in ohm and transformer B is having 5 kVA rating Z B is given in ohm. This here a load of 10 kVA 0.8 power factor means SL is given that is equal to 10. Let us say in kV only at an angle of plus. Why plus? Because for lagging load SL is angle of SL is positive and for leading load angle of SL is negative how this is coming you can go through the lecture number 22 of network theory that is power calculation in AC circuit you will understand so SL will be equal to 10 at an angle of plus 36.86 cos inverse point 8 is 36.86 find the load shared by each transformers I have to find SA and SB so what I told you in the previous lecture First see whether the internal impedance are given in ohm or per unit. Here the internal impedance Z A and Z B are given in ohm means no need to convert on same base. You can directly apply the formula S A is equal to Z B upon Z A plus Z B ka conjugate multiplied by S L. That will be equal to 1 plus J 2.5 by 2.5 plus J. 5.5 conjugate multiplied by 10 at an angle of plus 36.86 solve this by using calci it will be equal to 0 0.4456 at an angle of minus 2.62 multiplied by 10 at an angle of 36.86 so finally SA will come out to be 4.456 at an angle of 34.22 this is the value of SA. Similarly, we can find SB is equal to ZA upon ZA plus ZB ka conjugate into SL or you can apply SB in phasor form SL that is a total load power minus load shared by transformer A. This will also give you the SB. So SB will come out to be 5.5525 at an angle of 38.97. Okay, so this is the value of SB and SV, SA. In this way, we can calculate this. Okay. Now, see the next problem that is second homework. This is also I have given you the homework. Two single phase transformer A and B have the following parameter. Okay. Transformer A having this and this is having 10 kVA. I have told you in the previous lecture only. So, rating of transformer A is 10 kVA 400 by 200 volt. RPU is given 3% and 4%. Transformer B having 5 kVA. RPU is given 4% and 3%. These two transformers are connected in parallel and this here a common load of 12 kilowatt at a power factor of 0.8 lagging. Determine the active and reactive power delivered by the transformer A. Now let us see. The transformer A, the rating is given that is 10 kVA and ZA is given that is equal to 0 0.03 plus J 0 0.04. Similarly, transformer B rating is given as 5 kVA and ZB is given as 0 0.04 plus J 0 0.03 and these two impedance are in per unit that is this is the case 2 problem ok when both the impedance are in per unit then how to approach I have already given you the concept of approaching this kind of problem in the previous lecture See here, this transformer A is having 10 kV and this is having 5 kV means both the transformer are not having same base that is the same kV rating. Got it? So if both the transformer are not having same kV rating and the impedance are given in per unit, then what are the procedure? Procedure is 
to first calculate the both impedance at same KVA rating. So I am taking 10 KVA as a base value. Okay. I am taking 10 kVA as a base value. So if I will take 10 kVA as a base value, means this ZA will remain as it is. Okay. But this ZB will change. Why? Because this is at 5 kVA base. So taking 10 kVA base value, I can find ZB new is equal to ZB old multiplied by kVA new upon kVA old multiplied by V old upon V new. This is the formula I have given you in the previous lecture. So based on this formula, I can see ZB new will come out to be ZB old is given that is this much. So ZB old multiplied by KVA new. New KVA is 10 KVA at base value. So it will be 10 KVA old is 5 KVA. So it will be 5 multiplied by base voltage new and old. See old base voltage is 200 volt, 400 volt by 200 volt. And transformer A is also having 400 volt by 200 volt. So no need to change the base voltage because though bo both having same base voltage. So it will be one by one only. So finally ZB new will be equal to two times of ZB old. So finally on 10 kVA base value, I will get the value of ZB that is equal to 0 0.08 plus J0.06 per unit. And this is having 10 kVA base value. Now I can find the value of SA and SB. So what will be the value of SA and SB? I will take these two. Okay, I will not take this one because this is at 5 kVA base value. So I have manipulated this 5 kVA into 10 kVA. So what is the value of SA? SA will be equal to ZB upon ZA plus ZB ka conjugate multiplied by total load SL. So ZB is already we have found that is 0 0.08 plus J 0 0.06 by ZA plus ZB will be equal to 0 0.11 plus J 0 0.1 and this is having conjugate sign and load SL. First calculate the load SL here 12 kilowatt this is the active power at 0.8 lagging. So in apparent power it will be equal to 12 by 0 0.8 and lagging power factor is given so it will be in plus load will be in plus that is equal to 36.86 so it will be equal to 15 kva at an angle of 36.86 so multiply by 15 at an angle of 36.86 so by solving with kelsey the value sa will come out to be 10.09 at an angle of 42.26 okay this is the value of sa now once we got the SA then we can easily find the value of active and reactive power that is equal to 10.09 cos 42.26 that is cosine component is active power plus J into 10.09 sine into 42.26 it will come out to be 7.467 plus 6.786 j so this is my active power and this is my reactive power okay so this is the solution 7.467 kilowatt and 6.786 kvar now suppose you want to take this 5 kva as a base value so no problem you can take 5 kva as a base value and you can convert this transformer a impedance in terms of 5 kva let us say this is 10 kva having 0 0.03 plus j 0 0.04 in per unit and this transformer B is having 5 kVA having rating 0 0.04 plus J 0 0.03. Now you want to take 5 kVA as a base and you want to convert this 10 kVA as a uh, in terms of 5 kVA no problem you can do like that then the Z A new will be equal to 0 0.015 divided by 2 it will be equal to 0 0.02 this is Z A new and this is Z B that is equal to 0 0.04 plus J 0.03 and go through the formula by putting ZA new and ZB you will get the same answer that is the value of SA is equal to ZB upon ZA plus ZB conjugate into SL. So ZB will come out to be 0 0.04 plus J 0 0.03 and ZA plus ZB will be equal to 0 0.055 plus J 0 0.5 ka conjugate. Remember this conjugate sign 
and SL. SL is given 15 at an angle of 36.86. You will get the same answer. Okay. So it's up to you what base you want to take. You can take. You can take 20 kV also. You can take 50 kV also. It's up to you. Okay. You will get the same answer. In this way, you have to approach like, like I have already explained you the concept in previous lecture. Now see the third problem. This had been asked in gate 2015 for one marks. Two single phase transformer T1 and T2 each rated 500 kVm. Yes, kVa rating are equal. Okay. And per unit impedance is given 1 plus J6 and 0.8 plus J4.8. To share a load of 1000 kVa at 0.8 lagging power factor, the contribution of T2 means we have to find the value of S2. We have already know S2 is nothing but Z1 upon Z1 plus Z2 conjugate into load and here the impedance are given in per unit and kva rating is also equal means no need to convert and no need to take the new base because both the transformer are having same kva rating so write it as it is z1 is 1 plus j6 by z1 plus z2 will be equal to 1.8 plus j into 10.8 ka conjugate multiplied by load that is 1000 kVA at an angle of lagging is nature so it will be in plus finally it will be equal to 555.55 kVA you have to find only magnitude so don't worry about the angle okay this will be answer see the next problem two transformer are to be in operated in parallel such that this, they share a load in proportional to their kVA rating this I have already explained you in note in the previous lecture means to share a load uh, proportional to their kva rating the per unit impedance of both the transformer on their respective base must be equal so rating of tra first transformer is 500 kv and its per unit leakage impedance is 0 0.05 per unit means z1 pu is given that is 0 0.05 per unit if the rating of second transformer is 250 kva then its per unit leakage impedance will be what so it will be equal to z1 per unit only because the per unit impedance on their respective base must be equal to share a load proportional to their kv rating this i have already explained you in the previous lecture so finally the answer will come out to be that is equal to 0 0.05 so these all uh, questions has been asked in previous year gate exam i have taken all the questions related to parallel operation of transformer now for practice you can go through the book and solve one uh, two to three problems based on parallel operation of transformer so that your concept will get brush up got it so these all concept you should know and based on this co this concept you can be able to solve each and every problem related to parallel operation of transformer if you guys understood the concept then please like this video also for doubt solving you can join our facebook group for joining this group what you have to do type gatematic education in the search bar and like this page this is the gatematic education page and you can join this group this is the gatematic education group click on this and click on join icon got it thank you